you ever heard a customer say, I don't need a disaster recovery plan because I have backups? It's a big pet peeve of mine when people use the terms backup and disaster recovery interchangeably. Let's talk about the difference. First, let's talk about backups. If one of your files gets corrupted, what do you use to restore it? Backup. A backup is typically a snapshot of your data taken at a specific point in time, maybe 2 a.m. yesterday. Backups are great for recovering from small-scale failures like file corruption or accidental deletion. But here's the catch. Backups are slow to restore. They are snapshots. So you will lose any changes made since the last backup. And also, you backup everything. You backup your production, your development, your testing, all of it. Now, let's talk about disaster recovery. Disaster recovery is designed for large-scale disasters. It's like a data center outage or a regional failure. And it is not about backing up everything, but it's about continuously streaming your most critical application data to an alternate location. And what is the goal of disaster recovery? It is to recover quickly with minimal downtime and minimal data loss. And that's where RTO, which is recovery time objective, how long it takes to recover, and RPO, which is recovery point objective, how much data you can lose comes into picture. Now, what is the problem when you say, I don't need a disaster recovery plan because I have backups? That means you have to ask yourself two questions. How long can I afford to be down and how much data can I afford to lose? Because using yesterday's backup means losing a full day of data. And the restoration process, it's slow and it is going to affect your RTO and RPO significantly. So backups and DR are not the same, but you need both for a robust data protection strategy.